Hi everyone. So I was going to spray paint this black, but come to find out, I don't have any black spray paint. So I took some of my chalk paint and I watered it down and I'm hoping this will work a couple layers. So that's what I'm doing right now is just going to paint over top of all this. with some of my black chalk paint. I think it is. Oh, it's ink. Wavelord, the inspirations. Paint. Flat matte paint. And I did water it down a little just because of what I'm doing. I might have to layer it a couple times because I watered it down a little, but and it's going in between raining and not raining and everything else today. But my plan is with this paint and everything to eventually here get some other things on here. And I don't know what my kids did to this brush, but the outer portion is kind of coming up hard from our painting day. That we did a while ago. No one watched the video, but <laughs> we did it. I had a painting day with the kids and they loved it. Being a part of it. They call it being a part of mommy's work because they don't get to be a part of all my crafts and they don't like that. They don't get to be a part of it. They want to be a part of it. I'm just getting some of these spots that are kind of looking eh. This black ink that I am adding to it will be definitely something that will add a little spice to what I'm doing. I figure it's a good way of using what I have already instead of buying something new.
and now again, I'm just going to keep on turning it because this way I can control the dripping a little bit. Just a way of controlling it a little. I think this is much faster than the Mod Podge, actually, when I was Mod Podging earlier this week. And I like showing you guys my process all the way through on days that I can do things like this. I don't like to just show you one part and then skip over. I know. These are going in non-order, my video is at the moment, because I'm not doing them in any particular order, and I'm tired of going up and showing you guys partial of what I'm doing instead of all of what I'm doing. Because I make small things, like I go in between it all. I don't necessarily stick to one particular thing at a time. It all depends on the weather too. Yesterday I was coffee painting, so, or dying, so I didn't have a chance to do my norm or work on this. And I was trying to come up with how I was going to paint this black. Let's tell you the truth. I wasn't sure how exactly I was going to do that. But I think this is relaxing, just painting away. And I might add some acrylics to this and all that jazz. I just thought this black would be a good base for this. I might add oil pistols to it, I don't know. I don't know how I'm doing this exactly.
it'll get figured out. I'm not worried about it. Now I'm gonna do it this way. I think. So again, I'm just painting this space up as much as I can. outside of these pieces. I think that newspaper added a lot of texture, even though I didn't realize it. It did add texture to this. All the crinkles and everything. Lots and lots of texture. I'm just, again, I'm trying to move it around, but at the same time, I'm not moving it around very fast, am I? And you guys are looking at me backwards. So, that don't help. <laughs> film again after I do a couple layers of this. I don't think I'm happy with just one layer. Or at least I don't think I'm going to be happy with one layer at the rate it's going. dry and I think I'm gonna paint this. We'll see how it turns out. This I might have to do quite a few layers of. But our pretzel can is no longer looking like an Utz pretzel can. I wonder how them distress sprays would look on there. Bella has been learned how to do splashes. So kind of interested in doing that with her. Grabbing some cream color and letting her spray away. And again, I'm just covering this up, trying to get the green 
muted down a little here. And I didn't get all the green out, obviously. It likes to move around. But something for right now. Till it's dry. And I personally am just wiping my hand on my drop cloth at this point. And so is my brush. Because this drop cloth is eventually going to get cut up and everything when it's completely covered with paint so enjoy the rest of your day bye